I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. The purpose of this exercise is to make quick decisions. I like to call it Charleston Sprints. It's a great way to test yourself and desensitize yourself from playing on a clock, whether you play online or you like to play in tournaments. Making quick decisions is a skill to build. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We are going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. We're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, 13 tiles, 14 tiles. And then I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. Okay, we've got tiles with multiples. Three, six, nine. That's what I would focus on. Three, six, nine. I don't know if we can use all those dragons. Okay, let's pass these three. <gasps> Flower. Three, six, nine. I would let these dragons go one at a time. Let's see. We'll pass these three. There's a one potential joker bait, but we have some tiles to pass. I don't want to get stuck with dragons. I think we have enough discards to hold joker bait. Whoa, now we're getting a little stuck. Dragons. Let's break up the ones. Whoa, pair. I hope nobody would ever pass pair, but it does happen. Three, six, nine, one, three, east. I don't want to get stuck with a pair. I think no matter how we slice this, it's going to have risk. Whoops. Whoa, look at all these two, three dragon. Look at that two, three, three, six, nine, though. I think three, six, nine might be stronger, but we need to pass defensively. There's a keeper. Maybe a keeper. Tiles to pass. 369. Mixed suits. I would let this go. Optional. Lap. Okay, we went over a little bit. That one was kind of hard, though. The dragons, I think held us back a little bit. Four discards, joker bait, no gaps. 369, mixed suit Kongs. Fifth hand down, under 369. We didn't get any keepers. Well, except the flowers. Well, that's pretty nice though. This is why you don't want to pass flowers. I think our multiples here we're pretty strong. That's why I didn't keep the twos or the dragon. That was an interesting Charleston. Lots of options, but I think this is the strongest.
Okay. Jokers, dragons, pair sevens. That's where I would start. Maybe little, maybe odds, big odds, like numbers with sevens. Let's see. Let's break up the four. Oh, flower. Dragon and a seven. Okay, so we do have a matching dragon there. Let's pass these three. Flower. Now, sevens, dragon, seven crack, white dragon doesn't really fit. I would risk it and play, ooh, wait a minute. Let's play a quint. Quint. Flower. We have tiles we can pass. I almost broke that up. Tiles we can pass. Whoa, dragons, look at that. Oh my goodness. I think we're solid here though. I would risk it. No keepers. Lap. We got a red dragon back, but here we can quint that, Kong that, all we need is a flower or any one of these tiles. Quint, first quint. That was kind of exciting. We were kind of stifled by the dragons again, and we even keep getting flowers. I really try not to pass flowers for this reason. Flower, almost news, dragons, eight, one, four, five, eight, eight, eight. I would go with eights, like numbers with eights, probably. Break up those wins. One, one, four, west. Ooh, look at all those dots. We're going to break that up. Let's do these three. Wait a minute. Seven, eight, nine, offsuit dragons. Let's pass these three. White dragon. We'll keep the white dragon. Let's pass east three, nine. Dragon. Wow, eight. Okay, eight, eight eight dragons. We have to give something up. Nine dot. Flower. Now we have to make a choice. Dragons. Dragons. Let's stick with the pair. Break up the eight. Pair secured. No keepers. Let's let the eight go. One of each suit. No keepers. Let's see what we get back. Maybe an eight, do you think? An eight? No eight. Discards. Like numbers with eights, no gaps. Pairs secured. We just need to build up our eights. So we do have work to do though. Five discards, five discards. This could be a pretty hand though. Let's see how things went with time. 
One of the reasons why I like to do this exercise is to push myself to make quick decisions, but also making quick decisions with wacky passes. Sometimes I'm thrown by the passes I get. This is a great way to desensitize you from wacky passes. Let's see how things went with the time. My goal was two minutes. Sprint one, two minutes, 13 seconds. I went over. Sprint two, one minute, 38. That was a good one. Sprint three, two minutes, 11 seconds. I think the dragons and the flowers kind of caught me off guard. This is why you want to practice. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.